Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. In the previous sessions, I talked about how we can extract, for example, those two columns, the first name and the last name column. We did this simply with the select from query and the output we get is more or less exactly the same columns as they were in the original table. So if we compare this, it's also the same order as in those tables. This, however, might be a bit annoying if, for example, I have the last names here and I would like to have all those employees ordered by their last names. But this can easily be fixed. Simply switch back to the SQL view and I add an additional line of code here. I go with order by. This will order my output. However, I have to tell him first by which variable to order. So here, as I said, I would like to order by last name. So I'm simply putting this variable here as well. If I just save this, this will already work. Can switch after saving to data view. I see here it's ordered in an descending, uh, sorry, in ascending fashion for the last name. So it starts with the smallest letter and then goes upwards. So from A to Z. However, in some cases, it might also make sense to do this exactly the other way around. So instead of going from A to Z, I want to go from Z to A. And I can do this as well because this order by and then the variable is simply a shortened version of order by variable and then ASC, meaning for ascending. If I want to do this the other way around, I simply replace this with descending with DESC. I save this, I switch to the data view and I see here now it's exactly the other way round. Starts with the largest, goes to the smallest. So that's a good way to easily order your output. You could also do this with more than one variable, telling him, well, first go by last name, then go by first name. So if I would have someone with the same last name, he would then start with the, well, if it's not descending, if it would be ascending, and he has, well, a Peter there and an Eric there, he would first put the Eric, then the Peter, independent of how they were listed in the original table. Well, that's already everything I wanted to do by this session, talking about how I could order my output in relation to one of the variables. One final comment, this variable not necessarily has to be one of those you extracted. You could also order by a different variable from the table, which you did not extract. So I could order them by department, by begin of their work, and still only get first name and last name. That's finally everything I wanted to mention. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I say goodbye and see you next time.